Yo, what's up guys? Tom Dog here or Tom. You know what? I'm just gonna start calling myself Tom because yeah, I think calling yourself by your gamer tag is a little corny and a little weird. But um, what's up guys? Tom here. And um Today I'm gonna be talking about the COD cycle. Or yeah, that's what I would like to call the COD cycle and uh if people what people think about COD in general. And just Call of Duty, man. Just Call of Duty, man. Because Black Ops 2 is coming out and everybody's pumped. But, to be honest, I like this game. I don't know, I don't know why everybody hates it. But Black Ops 2, uh, I'm kind of wondering, like, what's going to keep my interest in Black Ops 2? If you catch my drift. If you catch where I'm going here. Like, in this game, it's uh, simply the Moab keeps, keeps me interested in playing this game. Like... Um, and then once I get bored of getting ACR Moabs and once I got bored of getting MP7 Moabs I moved on to different guns and then it was going for double Moabs, but At this point I have a Moab with every SMG in the game except for the MP5 and um, A Moab with pretty much all the assault rifles except for like the M16 and one other one I don't really use the LMGs too much the one I only the only one I have gold is the MK46, and I do have like three mo three four Moabs with the MK46. But like the COD cycle is basically this: the COD cycle is um, basically the first stage is when the game first comes out. You know, um, it could be like the first month or the first two months, maybe even the first. Nah, we'll go with the first month to the first to the second month. Those first two months are the honeymoon period. I mean, they really are. You might have heard somebody, some other commentator st say this, but it really is the honeymoon period. It's a new game, and you're going to like it no matter what. So when I see somebody putting up, like, an opinions and what they think about the game during that first month, I, I, I just don't take it seriously, you know, because you can't give your f opinions during that first month. Basically, when everybody gets the game, they start playing it the first month. It's something different, and it's new, and everybody loves it. They think it's the best game in the world, the best game that ever came out. And that always happens with Call of Duty for most people. Some people might hate it right off the bat. I don't know. That doesn't seem to happen for a lot of people. But, hey, maybe hey, maybe that's just you. But, um, but in my opinion, you shouldn't be judging what you think about the game until, you know, just later in the game's life cycle. And then, this, I'm just gonna skip right to the last stage, because that's the most interesting. And then, like, when when we come to the later months, or the ending of the game's life cycle, which is, like, month, month like, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And it's kind of sad, because most games, like, I don't know what it is about Call of Duty, but apparently the life cycle is, like, half a year where you really like it, and, um... It's kind of sad when people start saying like the game gets old like after like the fifth month or something like that. It's kind of like Call of Duty's life cycle. Like it only stays fresh for like half a year when a lot of other games only come out once every three years or something like that. So that's kind of sad and kind of annoying. But um, and then like when the game gets older, people are just like, they just apparently assume it's bad. What I think is a good game um, is you actually like the game and you like it, not because it's new or not because, you know, it's the brand new game and it's fresh and you don't know anything about it and you're just playing it and learning it. I think a good game is when you fully understand and know it and you still like playing it. Now, I think a lot of people just hate on MW3 because they, they just follow big commentators and big commentators' viewpoints on it. And I think a lot of people are just followers in that way, but I think a lot also, also, like, when you see people that are really bad at the game saying, oh, I hate this game, dude, there's so many tryhards, all I, I, I really just think they're saying they hate the game because they're bad at it. Like, really, to be honest, I really do think that's why they hate the game, because if you suck at a game, you're not likely to like it, but... Like, I could be playing, you don't need to, you don't always Moab the freaking most retarded kids in the world. Like, what do you think I get into a lobby with retards 24-7 and every time I hop on, I get a Moab because I'm playing retards? No, I get Moabs against good players too because I play smart and I have good hand-eye coordination and I could aim quickly with my higher sensitivity so I could I snap on accuracy once I'm warmed up, that is, like, yeah, because you, we... I don't know, with me, it's like when I first get on, I'm not warmed up and my accuracy is kind of off. Accuracy, yeah, I gotta pronounce it. 
but um, I pick up the Moab there and then die right after. Just a little PM9 Moab, but that's my thought on the Call of Duty life cycle and the Call of Duty whatever it is, the Call of Duty life cycle. We'll just go with that. But um, those are the phases, and I'm out, guys. Peace.